Don't play video games. When the video game Fallout 4 was released, uh, like, what was it, like five years ago now? Something like that, maybe longer, maybe a little less. Fallout 4, there was a guy in either Finland or somewhere in Scandinavia who sued Bethesda, the game makers of Fallout 4, and he sued them for making a game that's too addicting. He said that, uh, that he was on his couch, he could not move, he was playing this game so much, he lost his wife, he lost his children, he lost his house, he lost everything, because the game was so addicting, that's all he did with his life, and he, he had the, the gumption to sue the game developer for making a game that's too addicting. But you know what I thought when I heard this? I thought, yes, I understand. Because I used to play video games so much, I would just play video games and I would do nothing with my life. There was no balance, there was no ability to have balance. I played and played and played and played and played and it was like a drug. And I'll tell you why it was like a drug because I would play even when I wasn't having fun. I'm gonna say that again, I would play the video game when I wasn't even having fun. Especially a game like Fallout, if you're a gamer and you know Fallout. Cause you die a lot of fucking times in that game. The classic game where, you know, if you're any type of, even 1% nerd you know about, is the Dark Souls series. That game is you're dying and dying and dying and dying and dying. And maybe some people can play a game like that and not just get angry and want to hate everyone and kill everything, but I do. That's how I feel when I die and die and die in a game. And yes, you could maybe say I'm not a very good video game player. Fine. Maybe I wasn't. I don't give a shit. The point is, is that these games are addicting. And these game developers designed them to be addicting, and I guarantee you there's at least a few of them on the creative team who are a little bit, or a lot of bit, sadistic, and are getting off on the fact that you, because of what they are making for you, your life is going nowhere. They think about that in the back of their head, and they get the fuck off on it. I guarantee you this happens. Because these games are too addicting. Now, obviously, it's not you, not their fault. You have you do have a choice to get help. You can still get help. It's very difficult, but you can. So it's still you. They are not sitting you down, gluing you to the chair, pulling a clockwork orange. Go look that up if you don't get the reference, and forcing you to keep your eyes open and watch the fucking screen. They are not doing that. Obviously, suing them is ridiculous. I'm actually a little surprised the guy was from Finland or Scandinavia because this kind of a sue is something that I only thought Americans were capable of. <laughs> we love suing. Stop playing video games. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. My rock bottom when I was, was I was playing this game called Diablo 2, which came out in like the 90s when I was growing up, and I was still playing it now. And in that game, you have to do a lot of just killing stupid, boring shit for like 20 hours just to get the one item that you need. And I was doing that and that was my rock bottom and that was fuck. I'm not having fun. I'm out. Now maybe, hey, maybe you're, you're able to do that and die a lot and whatever and you can still have fun, good for you. I was not having fun. And that's how you know it's an addiction. So stop, reclaim your life. Don't blow it out of proportion and sue somebody, but you gotta claim, that also disempowers you because you're saying even more, it's not your fault, it's your fault. Now maybe, I read this somewhere, maybe, maybe, let's say you have a successful job, you're a millionaire, you're well off, and I'm a millionaire, that's exactly, you're well off, and you can, you know, balance it, fine, go ahead. But especially if you have no job, no woman, and no money, get the fuck off your couch. Stop. It's a lot easier to say than do. I understand that. But stop. It's not real. This is real. Don't spend $1,000 on a fucking PlayStation 5. Spend $1,000 on an experience, on a vacation, on going somewhere beautiful. 
and maybe the occasional prostitute. Good night.